Bachman Industries has introduced their large-scale log skidder with crate. It's non-operational. It's available by itself or on a 20-foot flat car. Non-operational means that the skidder has no moving parts, but it's just begging to have a smoke unit added to it. The unit comes with a pulley that you need to add on to the skidder, as well as some plastic stakes that you can put on the side of the flat car. It also has some hook and loop couplers so you can swap out the regular couplers, and it's got a small smokestack that you will add. It includes an exploded diagram of the skidder, so that way if you break a piece or need to fix a piece, you know exactly which piece to order. The skidder is not glued to the flat car, but held on by two wires front and back. If you want to remove your skidder, you'll have to remove these wires. Our suggestion is to just cut the wires and pull them out of the way. We tried doing it by unwrapping them and found that we scratched up our model, but that's okay because we're going to weather it anyway. We're keeping the rubber tubes, we might be able to use them later. The other plastic bag contained the brake wheel as well as the plastic stakes that you can install on the flat car. Now don't panic that you think there's one missing like we did. There's only six slots on each side and for whatever reason they're molded with six on one, six on the other, but there looks like there's a gap. We use the tried and true method of just twisting off the plastic stake. You can obviously cut yours off. And then all you have to do is snap it into the hole. We found it very, very easy. There's two little dots on the side. You'll hear those click, and before you know it, you'll be done. Just install the stakes on both sides, and your flat car's almost ready to go. When we put the brake wheel into the hole, it slipped all the way in, so we just add a little glue, and it worked out just fine. Adding the smokestack was easy. You could glue this as well, but it was a firm fit. The last step was to add the pulley onto the side of the skidder. Look very carefully. This is keyed. You'll see the flat part on the top side. Make sure that when you put it in, you just don't shove it in, but turn it slowly until you feel that it can go in and push it all the way in. The boxes are nice. They could use a few labels, but you can do that. And your skidder is ready to run on your railroad. It comes installed with the standard Bachman knuckle couplers. There's also hook and loop couplers that come with the unit so you can replace them if you need to. The detail on this unit is very well done. Even though it's non-operational, which means it's just static, none of the knobs turn, the doors don't open, I could see someone coming up with a way to install a smoke machine inside here and really make this look wonderful. This 20-foot flat car is nicely detailed, and as with other Bachman rolling stock products, it has metal wheels, which is a big plus. Here is the skidder and 20-foot flat car next to a 120.3 low side gondola from Bachman. You can see there's a significant size difference. Now the skidder is sold separately, so you can go ahead and buy that and put it on any flat car or off to the side of your railroad, wherever you want. The flat car measures 11 and 3 quarter inches long over the end beams. The width is 3 and 9 16 inches measured at the end beams as well. The skidder size is the length of the frame is 7 and a half inches. The width of the frame is 2 and 3 quarter inches. The steam engine and drums are 4 and 7 16 inches. The width of the engine and drums is 2 and 3 32 inches. Now the boiler height is 5 and 13 16 inches and the boiler diameter is 1.49 inches. The height of the base of the skidder to the top of the stack is 6 and 7 8 inches. We just want to point out again that the skidder is non-operational. In other words, the drums, the cylinders, nothing actually turns or moves on it. It's a static display, but it is excellently detailed. The nice part is you can buy it on the 20-foot flat car or you can buy it alone by itself and then use it anywhere you want on your railroad. This is one accessory for your railroad that's just begging to be weathered. Let's take a look at what J.D. Miller, author at LSOL.com, did with his skidder. He placed it on a scratch-built 120.3 22-foot flat car and weathered it. 
and added numerous details. Take a close look at these pictures and see if you can find all the additions that he has put on this unit. It makes it look real.